Welcome to the channel Economy of Tomorrow. We have repeatedly heard about central banks quantitative easing program since the financial crisis began in 2007. We know that it has to do with money printing, right? And should have some benefits to the economy. But is everything you hear really true? Or are there some myths circulating on mass media? Yes, there are. And I will expose them in this video series. Let's start with myth number one, that QE creates jobs. The red line on this chart is the employment to population ratio. It reflects the percentage of employed American population. As you can see, it stands at 58%, which means that 42% of all Americans are not employed because they can't find jobs, are too young, too old, disabled, or imprisoned. Can you guess by how much the U US population has grown since 2007? It's 10 million people, including the prison population. If we exclude the inmates, then it's 7.8 million, still a huge number. Now, let me put it in the right context. While the population grew by nearly 8 million, the total number of jobs actually declined by 1 million since 2008, because companies permanently terminated positions and people stopped looking. The green line represents adjusted monetary base. The monetary base consists of total US dollars in circulation, including both paper and electronic funds. The sudden increase in the monetary base reflects the Federal Reserve's purchases of US Treasury bonds, also known as quantitative easing. For example, Federal Reserve first began quantitative easing in the second half of 2008. As you can see, the monetary base expanded rapidly by $1 trillion. Then the Fed carried out QE2 in 2010, which resulted in another spike. However, as the sky blue colored arrow illustrates, the, the percentage of employed Americans declined right through QE1 and QE2. In sum, this chart gives you an undeniable evidence that expanding the monetary base had little to do with job creation. Subscribe and watch the next video in which I will expose another popular myth about quantitative easing.